Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes you want to create a worksheet that contains several sets of saved values that you can easily switch between in order to compare possible variations and projected data within the worksheet. In Excel, you can save different sets of values as a scenario in your worksheet. Then you can switch between these saved scenarios in order to compare the potential outcomes. For example, if you wanted to create a worksheet that could be used to display different financial projections, you could create different scenarios to project different factors that might occur to change the worksheet results. You could create a worksheet that contains the current year's revenues, and then create additional scenarios based on that data that shows a 5% increase, a 10% increase, or a 4% downturn. You can then switch between these different sets of data as needed. To create a scenario based on your current data, click the What If Analysis button that appears in the Data Tools group on the Data tab in the ribbon. From the button's drop-down menu, select the Scenario Manager. The Scenario Manager dialog box will then appear, and here click the Add button at the right side of the dialog box to open the Add Scenario dialog box. In the Add Scenario dialog box, type a name for the new scenario into the Scenario Name text box. Give it a name that describes which scenario you are modeling. Next, click into the Changing Cells text box. You can then select the cells within the worksheet that you want to change for the given scenario. You can select up to 32 different cells within the worksheet to change, which will allow you to create complex scenarios. You can type a comment about the scenario into the comment text box if desired. When you're ready to proceed, just click the OK button. In the Scenario Values dialog box that appears, you enter the values for the selected variable cell into your worksheet. When you have the values that you want to display shown in the scenario entered, then just click the OK button. The new scenario will appear in the list of scenarios displayed within the Scenario Manager dialog box. Now to show a scenario that you've created, you must select the name of the scenario to view in the Scenario Manager, and then click the Show button. The selected cell values in the worksheet will change to the values that are saved by the scenario. To close the Scenario Manager dialog box and view the changes, you can just click the Close button in the Scenario Manager dialog box. Now it is important to note that if you want to show the data as it was in the worksheet before displaying the scenario, you need to create a current values scenario in which you display the values as shown before applying your scenarios. That way you can easily revert the data back to its original state. Otherwise you will need to click the undo button to revert the data back to its original values after displaying a scenario. Now note that you can also edit any scenarios that you've created to modify the variable values that are associated with that scenario. So to do this, open the Scenario Manager dialog box, and then select the name of the scenario to modify from the list shown. Then click the Edit button to open the Edit Scenario dialog box. Here you can edit any of the changing cells that are listed. You can then click OK when you're done to save the changed scenario. You can also delete scenarios that you no longer need within the Scenario dialog box as well. 
To do this, just open the Scenario Manager dialog box, and then select the name of the scenario that you want to delete. You would then click the Delete button that appears in the Scenario Manager dialog box to remove it instantly. You can also import other scenarios from different worksheets into your current worksheet. However, this is only effective if the changing cells are the same in both worksheets. To merge scenarios from one worksheet into another worksheet, open the worksheet from which you want to import the scenarios, and next open the worksheet into which you wish to merge the scenarios from the first sheet. Open the Scenario Manager dialog box, and then click the Merge button. That'll display the Merge Scenarios dialog box. In the Merge Scenarios dialog box, you would use the Book drop-down to select the workbook which contains the scenarios you want to import. You will then view all of the worksheets within the selected workbook, and click any worksheet name in the sheet list, and a message will display at the bottom of the dialog box that tells you how many scenarios are attached to that worksheet. You would select the worksheet that contains the scenarios that you want to import, and then click OK to import them into your current worksheet. You can also easily compare the different results of scenarios within a scenario report. This report will show the different scenarios in the current worksheet, the changing values in each, and the different results that they generate. So this makes it easy to compare different projections. To create a scenario report, click the Summary button in the Scenario Manager dialog box. This will launch the Scenario Summary dialog box. You can click the Option button that represents the type of report that you want to generate, Scenario Summary or Scenario Pivot Table Report. Next, click into the Result Cells text box. Then select the cells within the workbook whose values are changed by the different scenarios. When you're ready to create the selected report, click OK. The report will appear as a new worksheet in the workbook, which you can then click on to view if needed. In the Scenario Summary report, you'll show the data in an outlined format, which you can collapse and expand to compare the data. In the Scenario Pivot Table report, you'll also view the same data, but it's laid out as a pivot table, which you can then modify to compare the data as needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.